The country is in lockdown and we're making huge personal sacrifices in our everyday activities. But Oxford University scientists believe two-thirds of us may already have had the virus, perhaps without symptoms, and are therefore immune. So how do they work this out? Well, they assume that one person will infect two and a quarter others on average, so the virus quickly spreads. And they assume one person in a thousand is at risk of severe disease. Now, running the numbers, they conclude the virus started spreading on the 27th of January, four days before the first confirmed UK cases on January the 31st, and 38 days before the first death on March the 5th. Now, their math suggests that on the 19th of March, more than 45 million people will have had the infection. But those advising the government are treating the report with caution. We simply don't know at the moment, and that's why the antibody test is so important. So there are estimates that up to 80% or more of people in Wuhan weren't detected. There are estimates that of those who are positive, so that's a small percentage of the population who were tested positive, quite a number of them were asymptomatic in a town in Italy. But we, haven't, we don't know at a general population level, and that's why it's so important to get this yeah. test in place. That policy is to stop the NHS being overwhelmed and to save lives. Scientific advisers at Imperial College in London calculate that if the epidemic had been allowed to run its course, 500,000 people may have died. But that's likely to fall to around 20,000 with the tough social distancing we're all living with and, of course, the shielding of those most vulnerable to serious consequences. Cases and deaths in the UK are rising fast, but the government's chief scientist admits the number of confirmed cases is just the tip of the iceberg. He estimates that for every death there are around 1,000 cases, the vast majority undetected, which would mean 500,000 people have had COVID-19. But if the Oxford researchers are right and two-thirds have had the virus, it should mean we've reached the levels for herd immunity. That would make a second wave of infections less likely once the social distancing rules are eased. And if that was confirmed by mass tests for immunity, we might just be able to return to normal life sooner than some have predicted.